now we're going to analyze a real life example and we're going to go to the uh, trading platform and we're going to take a look at Alphabet, which is uh, the uh, Google's parent company. So the ticker symbol is like Google without the E at the end, G-O-O-G-L. It's currently trading at 1270. So what we're going to do here is we're going to open up this expiration with 22 days to go and we're going to be selling an iron butterfly and then we're going to be buying a put butterfly and then we're going to buy the called butterfly with all the same strikes and we're going to see if they're the same or not okay we're going to do this for real and in the platform so let's open up um, may 2020 the may 2020 expiration and we have the um, at the money so what we're going to do is we're going to sell the put and the call at the money sell the put sell the call and now we're going to buy the wings so we go a hundred dollars let's make it a hundred dollars wide so we're going to be selling the 1270 call and put and then we're going to buy the 1170 put right here and we're going to buy the 1370 call so right here so we're going to analyze this trade and you can see it called a uh, an iron condor but in reality it's, a, it's an iron butterfly because it has the short strikes are the same for the put and the call so we have the uh short the 1270 put short, short the 1270 call long the 1370 call and long the 1170 put this is a uh, like i said an iron butterfly we're going to be getting a credit of 72 dollars for it and this is the max profit and uh well we and we can lose money of course and the most we could lose is 100 minus because this is the the width 100 minus 72 now don't forget each one of these contracts is covering 100 shares of google so this is quite a big quite a big position okay so i'm going to simulate it here okay and let's put it aside for for a little bit let's this is the uh, iron butterfly now we're going to create the uh put butterfly okay so now let's delete this trade and let's do it again so with only puts we're going to buy the 1370 we'll sell two of the 1270 and then we're going to buy one of the 1170 right here okay so this is called a butterfly right here with puts and I'm it's a one pl a plus one minus two plus one so it's uh one long the 1170 put short two of the 1270 puts and long one of the 1370 puts and this is going to be a debit we're gonna have to pay for it 27 dollars and it could go to a hundred because the if you um if it if it expires right at the money then the um the long put spread that we have here the uh 1370 1270 is going to um is going to be at max profit at max value okay and the uh short put spread is not going to kick in so we're going to be at max profit right here so max profit is is uh 100 minus this so we're going to send this to analyze okay and let's let's uh, put aside for a while and let's do the same one but for calls so now we're going to buy the 1170 call this now we're going to do the same butterfly but with calls so we'll buy this one one time and then we sell two of the 1270 okay one two and then we buy one of the 1370 to complete the butterfly so this is a symmetrical butterfly okay butterfly all with calls long the 1170 short two of the 1270 long the 1370 for 27 dollar debit so we're going to pay for this okay so let's send it to analyze okay so now let's analyze these trades okay so if you look at the iron condor first let's open these up so that they're uh, picking up the current price at all times so if you look at the iron condor here you got a um, uh, 72 dollar credit okay and the max profit is going to be 
at the point where the uh, the short where, where the price at expiration pins the um, the short strikes. So right here. So the max profit, if you if you look at this at this portion, you can see that the max profit is going to be seven thousand and well basically seven thousand two hundred and twenty dollars okay this is going to be the max profit and the max loss is going to be two thousand seven hundred and eighty which is one hundred minus seventy to twenty multiplied by a hundred okay now let's take a look at the uh put butterfly now the put butterfly now we're looking at the put butterfly the profit is the max profit is going to be 72 20 70 i can't really pin it but basically it's going to be 100 minus 27 55 which is going to be 72 45 so 72 45 and the max loss is going to be what you paid for it 2775 dollars right here okay now if you look at the put at the at the call butterfly it's the same thing is going to if you pin the the short strikes then you're going to have a value of 7220 in this case which is very close to this um, and the max loss is going to be 2775 which is what you paid for it now take a look here at the pricing okay to begin with put butterfly call butterfly priced exactly the same you pay the exact same price it pins right at the same price you have the same max profit and the same max loss these are the same trade now the iron version of this the iron butterfly is the exact same thing but big but starting with starting out with a credit instead of a debit so instead of paying 27 you're gonna make 73 or 72 30 and you're gonna hope that it expires worthless so when would it expire worthless when you pin the short strikes so right here okay which is the exact same point of max profit for the put butterfly call butterfly so if you take a look here it's easy to see that the iron butterfly the put butterfly and the call butterfly are the exact same trade now sometimes what you would get is traders saying oh you know uh, i'm going to put on an iron butterfly because implied volatility is higher and i only buy butterflies when implied volatility is low but i sell iron butterflies if i apply volatility is high nonsense these three trades are the exact same trade so whatever circumstances you are looking for to put on one instead of the others apply to all three of them okay these are the exact same same um position the exact same strategy now again why would you put um what, what would you put on this strategy instead of this one or this one maybe liquidity maybe um i want to have both calls and puts now what would you pick a butterfly instead of a, a of an iron condor well maybe maybe you want to stick with uh, puts only or with calls only or you already have a portion of this spread you want to leg into a butterfly so if you if you take a look at for example the difference here would be for example um an iron butterfly is going to use if we go back here is going to use these ones right at the money those are not the problem but is going an iron butterfly is going to use the long portion is going to be at, out of the money and the uh, the uh, call side is going to also be out of the money but the put butterfly is going to use the long portion the long leg one of the long legs is going to be this one right here and this is going to be uh, uh, the 1370 which is trading right now at uh, 112.50 by 115.60 so the bid ask spread is just about three dollars whereas if you were to use the iron butterfly you would go here and the bid ask spread is as you can see here one dollar and ten cents so three dollars one dollar so this is like i said 
out of the money options usually have better liquidity. You can see it right here in real life with real data. Same with the um, put portion. In this case, if, if you pick, if you use an iron butterfly, then you're going to be using these ones. But if you use a call butterfly, then you're going to have to use this one. Okay. And when you buy this one, you're going to have 119.60 by 122.90. So the spread is $3.30 compared to a spread of 20, 21, 40. So $1.40. So right here, you have a spread of a oh, bid ask spread of three dollars roughly and one dollar one and a half so right here you can you can see that it makes sense to stick with uh, out of the money options for the most part so this is the reason why i would favor the arm butterfly over the call or the put butterflies but some other circumstances might dictate uh, which one you pick so in my case i would always favor the arm butterfly but some other reasons might dictate uh, uh, why you pick a call butterfly or a put butterfly. Those reasons are going to be different than PL because, in terms of PL, these three strategies are exactly the same. And the same thing applies to the condors, iron condor, put condor, and call condor. So uh, now you know that all of these condors and all of these butterflies are exactly the same and if you start breaking wings and adjusting etc you just adjust the uh, corresponding version of the uh, iron version and um, and you'd be you'd be in a good position uh, knowing that you have the exact same position for both